Hi guys, this is a quick tutorial to show you how to do pagination in Jekyll. Now as you can see, this has got a lot more posts than the last tutorial I showed you. I've added um, 10 posts instead of 3, which I tried before, um, to illustrate the pagination better. So let's up to Blime. First of all, you need to go to Config and change the pagination paginate here from 10 to 5. Now whenever you make a change in the config.yml, you have to restart the Jekyll server. So I'll press Control C and press up and run Jekyll again. Okay. Next thing I need to do is go into the layouts folder and change the pet the posts page from um no actually I think it's it's definitely the, the post page from page dot previous. No, it's not this page. Okay, that's what it is. Right, okay. It's definitely this page. From the chat tutorial, right? Okay, sorry. It's the index page because it has to be always on the index page if you want to do pagination. So make sure it says paginator post. I think it said site before. But make sure it says paginator, and then once you save that, and then refresh the page, you should have five posts with no next and previous links. Now I'm following this tutorial over here which I'll put the link to in the show notes. But what all you need to do now is copy this this bit over here where it says pagination links into the index.html. Now once we refresh the page, we should have next and no previous, page one not found. Now this happens because Jekyll creates page folders depending on how many pages you have um, but it doesn't create a page one with this code so what we have to do is go back to this tutorial and copy all of this code over here which fixes the whole page one problem so once we paste that into here and then save it go back and refresh the page, we should be able to go to page 1 and page 2. I'm not sure what causes this, I haven't really looked into it, but I know this is the code that gets it to work. Something else you also might want to add is the date the posts were posted on. This also has to be done in the index bit. So this is where Tata goes, I will add span tags and then I believe it's date. Let's have a look. Page dot date. I'll post all of this all in the show notes for you to have a look at. Page dot date. Need your date formats of liquid, which would be day, month and the year to refresh that and didn't work why didn't that work let's have a look ah, because it's just a post and not page because we're doing it based on the posts save refresh and there you have it so each of these posts were done in different months Apart from these two, which is done in the same month. Now, one quick thing that I want to show you is a way to show archived posts. So it will show the posts in the, all the posts in the month that they were posted in in one section. So I think it'll make more sense when I put it together. So everything we're doing for that will be in the index.html. So I'll make a section over here for that with. 
equals oh, row fluid um, and close that div here. Make this a class of span eight. And you can close that over here. So I'm dividing the section for for the archive and the posts. So I copy that. Make it span four because Bootstrap does groups of twelve. And then more copying and pasting uh, from. A modified version of this, which I've done a while ago. So I'll copy. I'll post all of this in the show notes for you to see how it all works. Um, back to here, and this needs to change to site dot posts. Let me have a look. Just check quickly. Site dot posts. Yep. Yeah. Let's see what it does. Refresh. Okay, it didn't work as well as I thought it would. But over here we have an archive list of all the posts. And as you can see in March, we have the third post and second post together in one. Um, let's have a look at why that didn't work so well. Span four. Okay. So this div closes way too early. It's probably my fault. It's not actually fresh. So I have the archives on this side and the post on that side, which can go to next and previous. Now, how the archives work basically, for all the posts on the page, it makes two variables the month and the next month. If they're not equal, it closes the list for if there's an equal to if the index is equal to one. You can make the number whatever you want. I don't know what it does but it still works but I'll leave it as one and it posts the date which is just the month and the year and then it posts the URL and title of the post for that month and URL I mean month and year and that's pretty much it if you want to have the dates here as well, what you'd have to do is grab the same piece of code, go into the post page, and then below the title, and type some B tags, change this to page, because now I'm referring to the page, the date of the actual page, and not the post anymore, refresh, and now I have it, the 1st of May. So I think that's pretty much it. I'm sure you can spend time styling the whole thing to make it look like a proper blog, but everything I've showed you from the next and previous over here to the next and previous in the home to this archive section over here is probably everything that you need to make a fully fledged blog. Yeah. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed the videos and Go forth and make blogs with Jekyll. Thanks for watching.